very best from Tri-State New York area, uh, IBDW and G-Money. G-Money, a teams fanatic. No one no one loves teams as far as I'm aware in the Smash community more than G-Money loves teams. Yeah, or at least I would say like the whole D-Money and Co. Or excuse me, G-Money and Co. Like like I'm thinking DJ Nintendo. Nintendo. Yeah, you know, the uh, a la carte who still doesn't really play melee anymore, but he'll come. He'll you know come out of retirement for teams. And a great Twitch follow if you guys like fighting games, yeah. shooters. He's just a good guy all around. Yeah, I love all the cards. Old school melee guy. Yeah, Re partly responsible for why we're here right now. I'd say. I would say too. He's definitely instrumental in the building of melee's legacy with revival of melee and other stuff. And uh, La Luna, you know, that's another guy you think of when you think of that crew. And they're just all about teams. And G Money has one of the best teams, Falcos, I think, you know, in the country right now. Yeah, Pop, he's, he's definitely up there, I would say, as far as, like, one of the, the best all-time teammates, you know. Vintage, I believe, is the Marth player on this other team. He just got a great uh, finish up edge guard on G Money, but just as I was complimenting him, he falls yeah. to his death, slow countering. Yeah, it's, it's, it sucks when, you know, for casters, when you're just about to, you know, Praise somebody on commentary, and then they they do something that looks almost kind of silly. Yeah, and that's our curse. But yeah. you know, we also Sorry about we that. also get blessed sometimes too, where we're predict where we're about we're like predicting what's going to happen, and then it plays out just as we that's say it. That's, that's our commentator's like blessing. Uh, what a counter right there! <laughs> he had an opportunity. Oh, almost a unfortunate SD again. But I like the decision by Silly Willie to just go do go to to two v one, just like disengage and let's go do a two v one for a little bit, break away from my target. Yeah, that makes sense. And you know what? They're sort of bringing it back, kind of. Not really, but I, I, I'll put it this way. It looks like they're getting some traction. They're still way down, but uh, I, I just feel like sometimes uh, a team comes out with so much momentum, you're not quite ready. Yeah. And it didn't look like they're quite ready for this. Tough SD from Silly Willy there. Yeah, there's some sad SDs and some unfortunate positioning moments that led to some really easy kills early on. I respect it. He's like, you know, come on. <laughs> I'm not giving up. And uh, I, I think that uh, it was you who used to always mention that it's like it's 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 always good to fight a little bit, never give it up. And uh, if you're the teammate that's out, you know obviously you want to root for your teammate, but also start thinking of some counter strats immediately. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, it's important to communicate between games. I hate when I'm watching a tournament set or I'm commentating a tournament set and I look into that player cam and one player is just looking at the TV and the other one's like on their phone listening to their music in their headphones, not talking, yeah, not listening to the BTS. Yeah, exactly. And it's if you watch good teams, they're not only communicating during this tar this time of the set, they're communicating during the game as well. Mm -hmm. Constant communication. It's it's I would say the cornerstone of every you know relationship, at least healthy relationship. And every competitive video game that's teams based, not just melee doubles. I mean any anything you look at as far as MOBAs, as shooters. Exactly. They're always in constant communication. So it's just that in melee, things are happening so fast that you kind of just have to shorten it as much as possible. Just like, get him. Yeah, get help him. me. <laughs> a lot of times, uh, just, you know, yelling help or something. Help me. Instead yeah. of like, hey, I'm in trouble. Can you come over here and save me? He's got no jump. Yeah. yeah no, exactly. No jump. That's just, a favorite. Just a little just a little things. you got to squeeze it in there where you can. Vintage actually has some nice edge guarding here, and the support wow. from Silly Willy was great. Yeah, the double they're, splits. They're taking their lead for the first time cleanly in this set. Silly Willy has had a great tournament, actually. He actually upset that Sharks uh, recently, you know, top 100 uh, ranked Sharks. So that's a great win for him. It was 2-0, clean. Made a little bit of a mistake there. Um, but, uh, you know, I did notice it towards the end of the last game, it looked like they were starting to figure out what they wanted to do. They were way behind by that point. But this is uh, the kind of start you want on your counter pick, of course. If they can, you know, maintain or at least reestablish a lead, that would be, of well, course, even more beneficial. It's like you were saying last game. They, there, there was, there was misfortune abound. There was positioning errors in that last game. But when it, it was even, when they were actually fighting doubles melee, it was doable for them. And we're seeing that it's very doable when they're like actually playing the game, one either two separate one v ones or playing together in the scramble. Yeah, the vintage was like kind of a miniature play, you know, MVP playmaker just a few I seconds ago. I would agree with that 100. percent I would say that he is the MVP of this game. He has cleaned up a lot with those back airs, and those are devastating on Spacey. Yeah, and it, some things were just passed his way. He's like, pass me to rock, I'm hot, you know, pass <laughs> me to ball. Hey, and when you're on, you're on. Yeah. And it's so hard for Marth to really save Falco. It's like all of his tools are like built around killing Falco when he's off stage. So I don't I don't blame him at all for not even trying to save his teammate there because it's like yeah, at the end of the day, what are you gonna do? 
Silly Willy waiting in the wings. Pardon my pun. <laughs> nah, that was a that was a great pun. That was a little bit of a technical error. Otherwise, a great setup from Silly Willy and Vintage. You can tell that they've got either some experience teaming with this, these characters or they've teamed together before. Definitely. Beautiful save a few seconds ago by Team Money, but it ends up not mattering ultimately. And 4G all by his lonesome is going to get team combo. They both go for the down air and miss it. As a Falco player, to like, you know, I got to give props to Silly Willy here. As a Falco player, when you're willing to stand back and be like, yes, take this edge guard because Marth is better edge guard. And that takes a lot to admit for Falco players, is that Marth sure. might be in a better position to edge guard sometimes, especially yeah. versus space animals. And I can tell you, as, as a Marth player, that uh, I really appreciate it when my Falco partner too. backs off and, and allows me to do the one thing that I'm better at. Yes, I played Marth for many years, and that was always the thing that I brought to the table as a team's player. Is like, you just knock them off stage and let me know, and I'm going to go over there, and I'm going to poke them, and I'm going to jab them mm -hmm. until they're just not recovering anymore. And um, I wonder if Team Money is talking to IBDW, like, should I try? All right, so I was privy to some conversation because we were eating oh, earlier. I was Archangel eating with, with the, the scoop. Archangel uh, with the inside yeah, scoop. Yeah, with IBDW and G Money. And G Money was saying, uh, against this team, he's like, should I go Marth? And IBDW said, no, I, I just really like like the way we play together when you're when you're playing Falco. Obviously, G Money known for his Falco and teams. And he's like, I'd rather you play your Falco than your Marth. It looks like he's sticking with his Falco. I don't blame him for that. You don't want to get caught into like, I feel like if they go to the ditto now for G Money versus Vintage, it'll just really become two stagnated 1v1s on opposite sides of the stage. They won't have the same kind of um, scrambly, like this. They yeah. won't have the same kind of positioning where they can uh, implement edge guards like this. Wow, great stock from IBDW and G Money. If that doesn't restore G Money's confidence in this team configuration, then I don't think anything will. Yeah, he, he looked like he had a, a, a moment of doubt after that first game, but once again, an amazing start to counter picks and just generally good decision making coming out from G Money and IBDW. Which, by the way, stands for IB doing work. <laughs> I have no idea. No, it does. I only know this because we talked about it earlier, and, and uh, I commentated one of their sets a long time ago, and I was making up, you know, acronyms oh, for what, for it, what it could potentially be. For? One of them was like <laughs> IB destroying weebs or something, just random stuff. That's what I heard it was the first time. So the first time I ever commentated a set of his was uh, at Tipped Off a couple of years ago, mm -hmm. and I somebody I had asked somebody, and they 100% replied to me super seriously. It stands for I'm bopping these weebs. Oh. And I said that on commentary, and oh. it was not correct. Oh, no, I might have. <laughs> so, believe it or so not. I don't I'm like to say it stands for anything. It's, 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 you know, his name's Cody. You can ask him what yeah. it stands for on Twitter. I'm yeah, sure he'll answer Twitter. you. <laughs> Meanwhile, you see that phantom up smash coming through for uh, Silly Willy, who's, uh, I don't think he enjoyed that too much. Yeah, G Money what? and <laughs> these G Dragon Ball Z battles, yeah. dude. G Money's playing like uh, he's going Super Saiyan right now. Yeah, he definitely uh, hit hit the Jets a little bit. <laughs> you know, turned up the Jets. And I'm not really sure what the Blue Team team can do to make this comeback at this point. Aside from like, Vintage is going to have to get edge guards like he was in the last game. Is is what I think is about the only thing that can I can see happening. Yeah, well, there's like one. That's how it starts. Commentators, bless. Him. Yeah, it's a, a good bless. example. He cannot take another one of those. Yeah, I, was about to, I actually thought he might die. I wasn't sure how his DI was, but, well, he's gone now. Couldn't take one from Falco either, apparently. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Wow, they... Oh, my gosh. E-Money and IBDW neutralized Vintage and Silly Willy. Felt like he